hello hi uh, so welcome back to again in the shape it so in this tutorial uh, we're gonna learn a surface modeling uh, so uh, this is a model which you have been seen in thumb line uh, so by using ellip and how are we going to make the uh, shape of this uh, solid model a kind of a unique geometry which i got inspired from a kind of a pinterest from the web so uh, before jumping into the new part I will showcase my channel what I'm doing it so if you are new to my channel please do subscribe and it will be hey, motivate me to do a lot of more stuff and this is a channel where I'm doing a lot of good designs related to the solid works so just learn from the playlist like which you are related to uh, furniture you can go for furniture and component modelings and also I used to practice a lot of uh, product design but I'm just enhancing my a uh, uh, lot of videos into the product design Yep, uh, this is overall um, about my uh, channel. So without wasting much time over here, I will jump on to the new part, which I want to show you how to start with the surface modeling. So yeah, basically we have a lot of features in the surface. So I will be uh, making a limited features here to create such profile. So for that, uh, what I will do, I will be selecting the top line. I'm gonna go for a sketch. I will make sure I will keep the center line. Now I'm gonna do with uh, ellipse. So let me uh, show you like we have a radius of ellipse normal and uh, partial and also parabola. But now I will go with a normal ellipse where I just want to start like this. Let me try with the four inch and by eight inch. I just go with one half which is not required at the moment of the other side so I will be trimming that option by using a trim entities I'll be coming out of that yep. so my one half is ready so what I will do I need to create a profile for the other side so for that I'm gonna create an axis so uh, let me select the top line and right plane uh, so the intersection of the plane will be get generated the axis automatically so it's a two plane axis so i'm going to select ok so by keeping that axis as a reference what i'm going to do i'm going to create an in the next plane yep so axis and then top plane so i will be keeping a 45 degree yep so 45 degree angle i'm just going to create another uh, uh, ellipse profile so again this time I will be keeping the same way yeah, something like that so uh, let me put you in a different uh, the geometry dimension so 4 by 8 we have used uh, so this time I'm going to keep a 4 as a length and 5 by 4 I will be keeping a 2 as a width yep. so again uh, just draw a center line and make it as a construction geometry I don't want to be a line to be there yep so now uh, my the, the top profile and the bottom profile is ready so uh, now what I'm gonna do I will be selecting a front plane gonna try with a, an arc yeah, probably a three-point arc which I want to show you like there is something yep this point go with the by selecting the point and ellipse go with the make piece and similarly we have to try this this and this too and I'm gonna select this again as a 7 inch close to that I'm gonna select coming out of that so uh, let me hide the axis which is not required I will be creating a one uh, three sketch since I don't want to select the plane to create this point so I'm just covering up this profile okay that's good so my profile is ready so how are we going to make this this is where I'm getting into the surface so uh, we have a lot of features but we have loft and we have uh, extrude so many features to create but it will be complicated to make such profile so I will go with the boundary surface where we can select two uh, profiles yes 
this two profile will be get generated but like we do have a curves so i will be make sure the curves based on the curve we will be end up with this kind of curve over the edge so what i will do again i will be selecting a selection manager and then select this edge or to select okay similarly the same kind of an edge which i'm going to select it going for selection manager and this time i'm going to select this edge which have been created in the 3d point yep yeah now my the profile is ready yep this cool so what i will do i will be selecting a, a top line again this time uh, i will be making a center line this is like up to you if you want you can create how much profile you want to be generated or various uh, uh, as a kind of a geometry which you can create so i will just keep like this so i just want to maintain a, a kind of a 1.5 degree something like that yeah it's very close to that yes it looks good and now what i will do so i will offset a point 1 or point 0.05 and this again i'm selecting this edge going to offset point 0.05 yeah fine so what i will do i uh, will be selecting a circular pattern so like this entity i want to be only at the 19 so better what i will do uh, i will start from here rather than a 1.5 so i will just delete this i will select the line starting from here okay so that i can make sure it should be at 90 degree so like this entity 90 degree i want to be present at 1 degree and it should be somewhere 40 will try yeah good and then I'll select this so by then like we can also increase this length here okay cool so what I'll do I will be removing the extra stuff which is not required for us and the similar way yep cool that's fine no okay, the let get connected with this not an issue big deal so again going with okay this time what i will do uh, i will be creating from here uh, rather than creating it that side yeah trim quickly i will make sure one let it be at this close to loop and each cap i will try to remove the offset profile yeah. see this is up to you uh, like if you want a different uh, pattern to be followed you can give a try but i'm just giving an example uh, so so that it will be easy for you guys to make sure which type of pattern you want to practice on this so this by making that so you will be learning again and the next step could be a kind of a linear uh, sorry not a, uh, a surface trim where i'm going to show you how to trim the surface yep so by selecting this go for a trim surface i'm selecting uh, this surface i want to keep it so the rest all will get removed so you have two options here remove selection and keep selection so i'm going to keep the selection which i want to keep it in my bucket yep so i will just keep that so one half let it be like this and the second half will be like you know a kind of a, a plane okay up uh, what i will do uh, if you want you can also be keep like the same profile how you want but the one side of the profile if you want you can trim it so the top profile front plane i will be using for me to trim the, the, the other side of the surface i will go with the trim surface 
this time I will be selecting this but remove selection was my selections to get removed yeah so now uh, again I'm using the same front line to be get removed I mean to what I have used for removing I'm using to mirror the same so this time I will be selecting the body to mirror so that I can select this body the mirror so that the body will be get mirrored on the other way yep cool so uh, again uh, using this uh, axis what I will do I will go for a direct editing and then this time the move body copy so I will be selecting this two body I just want to get rotated so by your help of this axis so I will be selecting this axis so this time I will be writing on 80 yep cool so this is how I made that profile uh, but this time it was it looks like a surface so you have an option called uh, it surface so you can select control a and all the surface will be get selected automatically you can just select the merge entity and then merge as a single surface so this single surface body and now we are going to make it as a solid body so for that i'm going to use a thickness uh, i mean thick an option uh, i'm going to select this option i mean the surface whether you want a mate uh, one side of uh, the other side of you have multiple options here so i'm gonna with the mate this time just play around like with 0.01 inch so this is how I made uh, the uh, the profile I mean uh, the geometry so if you are I love this design please hit a like button uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and also please do a comment section uh, like do you like this or like you want more stuff to be done in the way or you want more complex profile to be generated yep uh thanks thanks for watching until end uh, so see you in another interesting video until then bye from shape it